Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a weird Tuesday on FIFA 23 because we have cards that are leaving packs. Team of the Year midfielders and Team of the Year icons, team number one, are leaving packs today. Now, we kind of know what's replacing the Team of the Year midfielders, right? The Team of the Year defenders are going to be in packs today, but what about the Team of the Year icons? Are we going to see a Team 2 release today? Will there be a gap in between? A lot of unanswered questions. We are going to talk about all of that today because it's kind of a weird day, right? Cards coming in and out of packs on a Tuesday. EA dropping lightning rounds yesterday on Monday, probably doing the same today on Tuesday as well. It's just team of the year, right? That's what's going on in this game right now. We're going to talk about all of that in packs content, but also with SBCs. There are a lot of question marks. What could be happening today in the SBC section? One thing we know for sure, the 88 plus mid World Cup or prime icon pack is going to refresh one more time. We'll be able to do that again. Fodder price is most likely going up again today. Might be a decent time to sell. We'll talk about that in player SBCs. Mbappe player of the month confirmed by EA Sports. That's pretty big. Will we see that in the game today? Will we see flashback Pogba? A lot of question marks around SBCs. And of course, with the upgrades, I want to take a look at these and talk with you guys about the best way, in my opinion, to craft these during this next week and a half of Team of the Year to get your best chance of packing a Team of the Year player. So there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about cards that are coming in packs today confirmed. And that are, that is, the Team of the Year defenders, right? Teo Hernandez, Van Dyke, Eder Militao, Hakimi, and Courtois will all be in packs today. Instead of three Team of the Years at one time, we've got five. Don't open your packs. Resist the urge. You've only you've made it this far. You have a couple more days until the full team plus other cards are going to be in packs. These guys will all be in packs today. I'm still very curious to see what their official ratings are. Watch out for maybe a couple leaks or posts ahead of time before content to maybe see some of these player stats. Hopefully EA are juicing them up kind of like they did the Jude Bellingham card. That would be very nice. But those guys are going to be coming into packs today. Not else, not really a lot else to talk about there except for just watch out for some of these other existing promo cards that a few of these players have. It's kind of interesting, right? Van Dyke, Militao, Hakimi, and uh, Teo Hernandez all have promo cards in this game that are pretty expensive, right? You look at the Van Dyke center back card, the, the tail left back card. Some of these guys, like, uh, especially for Hakimi, I don't think Hakimi's team of the year card is going to end up being much more than like 100,000 or 200,000 coins more than this 87 is right now at a very inflated price of 500,000 coins. So I would be a little bit worried about, of a few of these guys that have top tier specials that they might just drop off a little bit in price today. Now, of course, the defenders, as they get dropped in packs, will be very expensive, just like we saw with the midfielders. They'll start out really expensive. They'll probably drop for a while and then won't hit their actual lowest prices still for another couple of days when the full team is in packs. But just a word of warning, if you own any of these cards, they're probably, they have a chance at least to drop off because the prices shouldn't be that far apart to these new team of the year cards that are going to be dropping. So along with these guys in packs today, we've got a new list of team of the year icons. Now, this is a leaked list of the team of the year icons that should be coming into this game in the next few days. Now, one of these is going to be an SBC. We believe that's going to be Javi Alonso, but Ronaldinho, Ashley Cole, Nesta, Makalele, Gerd Muller, and Van Der Sar are all team of the year icons that have been leaked heading into this whole promo, having team of the year icons in it. Now, team of the year icons won, the team one of this, of course, with Beckham, Hullet, Pirlo, all of these guys is going out of packs today. The real question is, is there going to be a gap in between or are they going to go straight from team one to tr team two? You would expect there to be other team of the year icons in packs today. So that's kind of what I'm expecting to see that second list. Like, of course, Ronaldinho, very, very hype. Gerd Muller, very hype. Vander Sar, very hyped as well. Be very interested to see like some of the pace boosts, especially on a guy like Nesta, right? With not a ton of pace or uh, it kind of reminds me of like the Bobby Moore World Cup card that we had. Uh, a couple of weeks ago when we had this promo, made a card that was really not that usable, a huge pace boost, and of all of a sudden, he's very usable. So we'll look out for a Nesta card today that is maybe the most usable uh, Alessandro Nesta card we have ever seen. 72 pace isn't that horrendous, but maybe he gets 80 plus today. 
We'll just have to see. I would think those cards would be in packs today. There could be a bit of a gap. Maybe there's no Team of the Year icons in packs today and EA saving until Friday. We will just have to see. Now, with these Team of the Year icons and other Team of the Year cards going out of packs, is there an opportunity to like invest in these or buy in these for a price rise? Man, with these Team of the Year icons, they just seem so expensive. I don't, I don't want to touch them. Like 2.9 mil for this David Beckham. I know that he got plus 11 pace. It's an absolutely insane looking card. Hard. Uh, Hullet, Perez, Vidic, all of these guys are so expensive. Um, I don't know. They're just al almost too expensive for my liking. And I don't want to touch them, right? I, I don't think I want to buy these and hold on to them because I feel like their prices should continue to drop off because right now it's just the fresh hype of brand new Team of the Year icons in this game. And maybe EA is going to release all of these Team of the Year icons back into packs at some point this weekend and release Team 1 and Team 2 in packs. I really don't know. But for right now, they just seem very overpriced because it's the hype of having new icons in the game with pretty big stat boosts. So I would be careful with those and I would bet on them still dropping in price even though they're a bit they're going out of packs dropping a bit this weekend with everything else that's going to be going on so that's kind of what's happening in packs today of course lightning rounds right lightning rounds are absolutely going to happen you're going to see my unassigned here we'll talk about those cards that i have uh, in a second but to get into the store there are absolutely going to be lightning rounds because ea have been doing lightning rounds every single day it happens on the weekends most often but yesterday even on a monday we had uh, lightning rounds. We had even lightning rounds right now. We have the elite pack plus. We had more of the store packs. The the 500k pack, not not 500k pack. 350k pack. Two different 100,000 coins packs. We had the provision pack yesterday. A 75,000 coin team of their foundations pack that's still there. Uh, so EA is going to keep dropping the store packs. They're going to keep dropping the lightning rounds. Expect that today on Tuesday as well because this is team of the year, right? EA is chasing that bag so again be careful with the defenders that come in packs today as well i do believe that their prices will probably start off pretty high and then continue to drop off into the later parts of this week especially with the full team being in packs right after the defenders are kind of done with their own little two days in packs i mean they're just going to continue to be in packs right these defenders will be in packs now from today until when team of the year cards basically go out of packs they will be in packs so we're, we're at that point right we're at that point of the week where if you've held your packs don't open them because we are so close to the whole team of the year being out now with the impacts content let's switch it over to the sbc content because it gets really interesting over here as well of course on month or on friday when we saw the ramos sbc dropped alongside of the attackers promo right there was an sbc when new cards came into packs with the team of the year attackers on sunday we had the uh, gareth bale sbc that was dropped alongside of the team of the year midfielders that dropped we also had hugo sanchez uh, on saturday as well now there's a couple leaked sbcs that are still out there could we see one of them today i think it's a possibility the first one is paul pogba's flashback right and i think even yesterday people were expecting there must have been some sort of leak going around that he was going to be in the game yesterday on monday because some of your juve links absolutely exploded yesterday like the uh rabio card here was 99k he went all the way to 127 before dropping back down into the one teens where he is now uh i think a lot of people are expecting this pretty soon there's a ton of hype around this card it would absolutely impact a lot of midfielders in this game if the card looks this good or similar to this even and it's probably going to be really expensive as well this is the biggest leaked sbc that is out there right now that we are still waiting on i don't know if it's coming today but we've had a player sbc every single time there's been new cards dropped into packs i don't know if that's a correlation or not it's just a possibility for Pogba to be dropped today. Now, speaking of the team of the year icons as well, we mentioned that uh, Jabi Alonso is one of our SBCs for that. We've already seen the Hugo Sanchez team of the year icon, icon SBC. Uh, would it be too much right away, potentially? I mean, we still have a whole nother like week of team of the year to go with the full team in packs for a while, more content to come. So would it be a little too early for them to drop another icon player team of the year icon? Maybe, but that is also out there. That could be a potential SBC that we see soon. Same thing like with Nesta, hoping for a really big pace boost on um, a Jabi Alonso team of the year icon card, maybe like a Beckham type pace boost. That would be pretty cool. And then the last SBC, this one is what gets everybody excited because yesterday on Twitter, EA's FIFA France Twitter account, which is the official account of, I think just, it's like the French speaking Twitter account on Twitter, 
uh, they tweeted this. And I want to show you guys this. I'm sure some of you have seen it. Somebody uh, responded to one of their tweets yesterday and said, uh, I'll translate it here because I don't know French, a little communication on Mbappe Player of the Month for those who are waiting for his SBC. Is it playable or when is it coming? And they responded with, it will be available soon, in-game winky face. So they're basically confirming that Mbappe Player of the Month is still coming. We were worried that it might not drop, but our suspicions are kind of confirmed that they were just waiting for the hype to die down maybe a little bit from the first kind of release of Team of the Year attackers, which Mbappe was in. So who knows when this SBC is going to be dropped. Again, we've said it, the Player of the Months for League One have commonly been dropped on Thursdays, but... Will they break that schedule since they've kind of they've kind of already broken the schedule, right? This SBC was supposed to be released last Thursday when the award was announced, and it was not. So Mbappe's special cards are still kind of up. His gold card is up. Remember, this inform was 1.3 million coins right before this last week, um, before the or when the SBC we thought was going to be released, and it wasn't last Thursday. So this card and Mbappe's special cards across the game are still really high in price. And his gold card, even though it is in packs, is still up a lot as well. We just looked at it, right? 760, 770,000 coins. So that is a potential SBC that could be coming in the next couple of days as well. Guys, it's really, really tough to know what's going to drop in terms of player SBCs. There might be one today. There might be none. We might have a player SBC every day for the next couple of days. They might space it out. Really, we don't know. I would expect Pogba to be pretty soon though. I think Pogba is going to be between today or Friday on this game, especially with the upgrade packs now live. Uh, you can think from EA's perspective, they're like, all right, people have been opening packs. They've got these. They're accumulating fodder in their clubs. They're playing the game. Yes, the 88 plus does refresh today, but I would expect to see Pogba here in the next couple of days about Javi Alonso and Mbappe. Really have no idea. There's no telling uh, right now when they're going to drop. So those are all of the potential SBCs that we do have. And I just kind of want to show that and communicate that to you guys. But let's talk about SBCs some more, especially with fodder, because with this SBC refreshing today, if you didn't sell your fodder earlier on in the week, this is what you're hoping for. This SBC, which is now back down a little bit, 213,000 coins to get it done, um, because some of your parts of the fodder market have dropped off as EA are running lightning rounds and continuously supplying fodder on this game. You have got your 86s back at 16K, 87s are back at 20,000 coins. I mean, even yesterday, in the height of the day, 86s were back up at like 18, 19K. Barella was up here almost 19,000 coins, dropped down with lightning rounds, and not a ton of demand yesterday, let's be honest, right? But today is a different story. So if you have any fodder still, you're talking 86s, 87s, I know we have a lot of SBCs to come. If you got 86s at like, I don't even know, let's say you got them on maybe like Friday night, or if you bought at the perfect time down here at like 13K, if these go up to like 20K plus today, do you want to sell? I think there's an opportunity to sell, whether you got them at like 14, 15K, maybe if you're buying at 16, because you think they're going to go higher today, which is a very good possibility. But the 85s, 86s, and 87s is where I would be focusing today. And if you wanted to sell some of those, I think you could. I think there's a really good potential rise today. Sell into the hype of this 88 plus SBC refreshing before we get to Friday, where there's going to be a lot of packs open, a lot of saved up packs, a lot of lightning rounds, and a lot of supply hitting the market, right? I always say, especially the way that it seems this year, is selling into the maximum hype of that SBC, especially for the higher tier fodder, is the way to go. So 85s to 87s, maybe it's a sell. This higher tier stuff with the Mbappe uh, like confirmation that is out there, your 91s are inching closer and closer to 70K, and they went even up further yesterday uh, because of the Mbappe SBC news being put out there and stuff like that. So... Those, if you got them at like 60K, I would probably still hold. And if you're on lower tier fodder, right? 83s, 1.9K, I would hold these as well because with the 83 plus midfielder pack that is out right now, uh, I think that that fodder can still go up higher today because this, you can do three times a day. It's going to refresh one more time. This is like 20,000 coins to do, but people love doing these because yes, the midfielders are going out of packs, uh, but you'll be able to do this SBC again to get 83 times three midfielders and then save them for when the full team comes back into packs uh, in a couple days from now. So there's demand for 83s for sure. 
today on this game as well. And if you did buy 82s, 82s are going to start rising as these 83s and as these 84s keep rising as well. Uh, I just think that if you want to sell, definitely sell around the content time because that's when the most demand is there. Lazy list, you will get sales. And uh, yeah, today's a big day for SBC content, just specifically for what this 88 plus is going to do and what those 83 pluses are going to do for the fodder side of the market. Now, Speaking of SBCs, one last time, there's a lot going on in SBCs right now. You guys know upgrade packs. And what I want to do is show you the best way to craft these because there are honestly, there's not one answer. There's a lot of different answers, but it's kind of just up to what works for your account and what you want to do and maybe how many coins you have and how many of these upgrade packs you are going to do. Now, of course, EA dropped these premium SBCs yesterday. They dropped an 81 plus double, a 75 plus player pick and the lower tier regular upgrade, right? There's the premium and then there's the non-premium version. The premiums are different than last year. And this is where we had some problems with EA yesterday. We mentioned it in yesterday's video. The pack is different entirely. You still get three rares, which is nice, but instead of 12 players from the same league, you only get eight. And that's where the disappointment lies within because last year with 12 players you were getting four more non-rares every single pack which when you think about a 75 plus player pick that only requires six non-rare golds that's two-thirds of this player pick that you're missing out on every single time you're opening one of these packs so it is unfortunate ea is going to do ea things but i think they have the reasons for doing this and also they know that we are going to open these packs regardless because these give us the best chance to pack a team of the year. So we're still going to do them even though they still require 11 rares and I'm going to show you the best way to do it right now. So this is the best way to do it in my opinion is to go out on the market and bid or buy it now these gold rare cards in their exact position. I've formed a little squad here, right? These are some of the players that I've been buying. Go on Footbin, search up you know, there's a lot of different players you can buy. You don't have to buy these exact ones, but notice that I'm buying these cards in their position because it makes it really easy. And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. So I'm going to submit this, boom, submit the squad. And I'm going to be done with it, right? So when I go and buy those players, I buy those exact 11 players. I buy them 10 at a time. I'm going to go back to the store here. I'm going to click to open a pack, but I'm not actually going to open the pack because I have more of those players in my unassigned, right? Team League pack. Nope. Here I go back to my unassigned. I have those exact same 11 players. I'm going to send them to the club. I'm going to go back to the SBC and this is what makes it so fast. Yes, of course, everybody has to spend time buying the players, but if you can craft the SBCs faster by using a squad builder, that's going to make it easier for you. So you're going to go squad builder. You're going to go gold, search by newest, and then you're going to create the squad and boom, it's going to sort and populate the squad for you with all those exact 11 players that you just bought. Give it a quick one second glance over, make sure nothing fishy happened, submit it to the club or submit it, not to the club, leave those players from the club and boom, you got it done. And then you go back to your unassigned, send the players to the club and do it all over again. Now, the trick is here is you can't buy more than 10 players per position, right? Those 11 players like we had as moon was our striker, right? We cannot buy more than 10 because this year EA has capped the unassigned limit at 100. Unless you use some sort of like a glitch or something going on there, it is not worth your time to go over that and it would just cause you headache and cause that nice system that we have there problems. So the best way to do it is buy 10 of each player, send one to the club. You keep nine and you're unassigned. You will end up with 99 players and you're assigned. Boom, you're underneath the 100 threshold and you can craft just like we did there. I think that's the speediest way to do it. Maybe not the most coin effective way to do it, but it'll get it done very fast for you at a pretty good price. You saw there, non-rares are about 750, or sorry, rares are about 750 to 800 coins. They are rising with these upgrade packs out. They're probably going to stay between 750 and 900 coins. I would believe um, for the rest of this week until we get to Friday. And then once we get to the weekend, they are just going to start rising. They're almost getting insta bodies. You can see here at the 59th minute for 750, 700 coins. So you can probably get them for 650, 700 still on bid if you want to grind that out. But the competition for this and people building packs is just going to increase more and more and more. Even though EA is running lightning rounds, which helps supply them on the market, the price are going to slowly keep rising as these SBCs are now out. Now, let's say I'm opening these upgrades. Where's my best place to craft, right? And this is where the opinions start to come out. And honestly, there's not really a wrong opinion. I think it just depends on what type of picks or packs you like to open. After you open this premium pack, you're going to end up with five non-rares 
and three rares, maybe some team of the years, right? That's the hope. But after you get those nine rares and rares, where do you put them into? I think the league specific upgrade packs are always a shout because it gives you three players, one rare, you get another shot from that specific league of packing a team of the year. And these require 11 golds. They don't have to be rares. They can be non-rare. So you can just dump all of your non-rares into that. That's very easy. A 75 plus player pick is a very popular option because it only requires six players. It's a one of three, but it's a 75 plus rated, right? It's pretty low, but these have been given out pretty well. I've seen a lot of people get 83s, 84s um, pretty consistently. And the thing about this is too, you will have the opportunity to pack team of the year icons from a 75 plus player pick, as well as the 81 plus double upgrade, which is another great SBC to craft into, right? These are not league specific. So you can pack those team of the year icons. You can pack team of the years from any um, league. It's again, not league specific. I think this 81 plus double upgrade is a really good value one as well for the extra non rares and rares that you have five rares, six non rares, boom, you get it done. So a combination of those extra rares and non rares that you may end up with from the premium SBC, you can put it into this and you get at least two cards that are 81 plus rated and you get two cards, right? That's what I like. Yes, you're turning in five more cards and rares than the 75 plus player pick, but you're getting two cards that are both guaranteed to be 81 plus rated. So here's what I would tell you to do. Mix it up between your account, right? If you want to try a couple 81s, couple 75s, couple of the league specific, you know, I'm showing you league one right now. You can absolutely do other leagues. I'm just kind of working on my league one tally, getting that up. I've done like 75 or more now uh, upgrade SBCs in the last day from buying rare golds and stuff. But whatever league you're working on, whatever cards you want to pack, uh, try a few out, right? Try some player picks, try some double upgrades, try some of the league specific, see which one works better for you. I just think that uh, it's not a one size fits all for everybody's account. Some people are going to pack crazy stuff from the 81 double. Other people are going to pack team of the years and icons from the 75 plus player pick. So try out some of those, see which one works best for you, which one you have the best pack weight with on your account, and then go from there but the biggest tip i can give you guys is be smart with your coins and i would say if you invested in gold rares obviously which we talked about a lot in the past couple of days especially leading up to this date if you invested in gold rares at a really really low price you are cranking out upgrade sbcs right now for the cheapest price possible if you're somebody who didn't invest in gold rares like myself i stocked come some in the club that was about it I would still do the SBC packs right now, whether you're trying to be uh, pinching pennies and be coin conscious, or if you're not really caring about that. I mean, these cards are 750 to 800 coins right now. They are going to be probably over a thousand coins as we get into next week. So I would say start to build the upgrade packs now, get ahead of the game because a lot of people, once they see the full team of the year is out, they will start to do up those upgrade packs and that is when the demand continues to rise so get ahead of the game right now these next couple of days while only a certain part of the player pool is in packs and get ahead of the game there so that's what i would say with the upgrade packs of course a lot of people are pretty excited about those and crafting and grinding those on the market now let's take a look at this market right now because i've sold a lot of those cards i'm no longer broke we did have a really really nice market rise yesterday a lot of player prices continue to go higher is it a good time to sell if you were just trying to trade and make some coins and do some quick flips i think the answer to that question is probably yes even for some of your most um like some of your team of the year cards some of the team of the year icons right i mean benzema is up a little bit messi is still up mbappe is still up and as these uh team of the year midfielders are kind of finding what their normal price is going to be I would be very tempted to sell stuff that you maybe were just trying to get for flips. I feel like this could be um, one of the higher points in the market this week. If we get a big SBC today, if we get more icons and packs today, that might, you know, not cause panic, but it could just cause people to sell some cards to go out and try something new maybe. But if we do get like a Pogba SBC or a Jabi Alonso, right? With that 88 plus icon that's refreshing today, that's definitely going to cause a little bit of panic to the market as well, which is another reason why I think if there's cards in your team that you're just trying out um, and, you know, you're trying to watch their card price really, really closely over the next couple of days. It's probably not a terrible time to sell as I look through here and see St. Maximin 470. Like that's really, really high for his card. You look through some of these other promo cards. Um, Usman Dembele is almost back to 600K. Ferland Mendy is 700,000 coins. I mean, with Teo Hernandez dropping as a team of the year today, Teo Hernandez's card is going to look absolutely nuts, right? We know what this team of the tournament, Teo, looks like at 500K. So maybe you're a little bit careful with a guy like a Ferland Mendy today. He might be impacted. That's all that I'm saying. It's just kind of a word of warning. 
throwing some caution to the wind on some of these cards that have risen up a lot in the past couple of days with the market doing so well. If it's not something that you want to keep long term for your team and you're wanting to hold and you got it at a really low price before the market started to go up, probably not a terrible time to sell whatsoever. Now, if you're invested in fodder in forums like I am right now, we're holding, right? We are waiting. We are holding because we just need these cards to go up over time. That's a completely different side of the market. But the market's done really, really well in the past couple of days. And that, of course, uh, has brought some really, really nice profits for uh, trading on this game. One last quick thing that I want to point out to you guys, and maybe this has to do with some price range updates that you maybe saw or noticed. There are a couple cards right now in this game that are extinct, and EA messed up some price ranges. This is the last thing in the video. Uh, Taliso was like 100,000 coins max price, and then all of a sudden yesterday, EA, um, they kind of fixed this price cap at uh at 40k and some of the cards that were listed up of course it shows a price spike but his price max all of a sudden was like set down to 40,000 coins he is actually extinct on the market so ea messed up something there with that card and then they also messed up a price range for kialini and pato i believe there's another ones to watch card as well that has its price range slaughterback slaughterback taliso as ones to watches and then kialini and pato kialini was extinct at 42k now they lowered his price range to 40,000 coins. Uh, and then I think they changed Pato's price to 30K. I believe I don't know if that was an actual mistake um, or if it was not. But yeah, it is. He, right, he was 31K yesterday, and now he's 30,000 coins. So I'm not sure what EA is doing with price ranges. But if you have Taliso, I would not list it right now. That card's worth more than 40K. As you can tell, uh, he is extinct on the market at 40K. So just be very, very careful with that one uh, if you're on the market at this moment. But... Watch out for Tuesday today, guys, because, you know, it just might be a pretty hype day, especially if we have new icons coming in packs today. We're going to have lightning rounds. People are going to be opening those 83 plus or 81 plus defenders position specific packs. It's just kind of a different Tuesday because there's a lot going on in the SBC section. There's a lot going on with what's going to be in packs. The team of the year hype is fully here, guys, and we are excited for it. So sorry for a long video, but there's just so much to talk about. We got to get through it. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.